The court's been uh, wondering, you know, how much I've been recording, and basically, uh, I haven't uh, released very much at all. Uh, the reason being is, is because I shouldn't have to record anything. Um, I should uh, be able to uh, trust a family court to actually uh, not commit any illegal crimes. I'm going to uh, expose um, uh, something today, and that is, is um, uh, yes, I did arrest a judge, uh, I've never given any proof of that. Uh, I thought today might be the day to do it. Okay, the date today is the 18th of June 2010. The children's lawyer has asked me to give him a ring at 8.30. It is 8.29 now. I am calling. services we offer is what makes us industry leaders, a step ahead of the rest. Our expert team, headed by Mike Emerson, can help you with all your legal inquiries. With our competitive rates, caring and efficient service, and the wealth of knowledge and advice on offer, Emerson Family Law are the best people to choose to assist with your family and relationship legal needs. Hello, John. Yes, hi. How are you going? Not too bad. How can I help? Ah, uh, well, you, you've received my letter. Yeah. I'm wondering how you could, can help. Beg yours? I'm wondering how you can help me. Are you going to take it back to court or what? Ah, uh, well, well, I, I, I don't see... You're returning your call. You, you wanted to speak to me. Well, I, I've actually um, sent you that email, so I'm just wondering... Um, uh, I mean, where do we go from here? I mean, we've got a psychiatrist that's... Um, well, you're back in, when's it back in court again? Well, should it go back to court? That's the thing, is, is, uh... No, but isn't there a, hasn't she set a date for later in the year? Yes, but the thing is, is, uh, the whole thing is, is corrupt. Yeah, I can't. Have you got any legal advice yet? Um, well, I, I did, but the, the, um, the... the didn't Magistrate Denmark remove my 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 lawyer from me? Yeah, but it's, it's a pity you haven't got that guy in Victoria. He was good. Who the the one the one um, who had the two hundred million dollar lawsuit? Who basically pulled out of that one? No, the one the Sir John uh, John Walsh of Branagh or whatever. Yeah, Sir John Walsh. Yes. Uh, but basically, basically he left uh, those people in the lurch. Did he? Yeah, and, and the thing is, is um, um, I don't understand why, um, I mean, have you read about Dr Chalk and, and uh, the police and everything? Yeah, I've read it all, yeah. So the thing is, is the judge, before I arrested her, she said, uh, well, sorry, after I arrested her, she said that she was going to give me time. when it's due to go back to court, eh? No, but what I'm saying is, is um, she, she, she agreed with you to, to give me more time. Is that... And she agreed to give transcripts. So what happened there? Haven't you got the transcripts? No, I haven't got the transcripts. All right, well, I'll try and find out what's happened to them, all right? Now, what happened was, was um, 
um, I had uh, gone and arrested that judge. Now, that children's lawyer, Mike Emerson, he was very, very concerned in that courtroom. And uh, basically, uh, the judge, as soon as she heard that I was arresting her, uh, she said, I think we should give uh, Mr. Astor some more time. And uh, uh, the thing was, was uh, she had a, a courtroom jam-packed full of uh, other, other court cases. And they were very, very shocked as to what was happening. So was the judge, and so was the children's lawyer. And um, the, uh, the judge was saying, well, I think we should give Mr. Aston some, some more time. And, I said, and the children's lawyer stood up and he, he stated, yes, I think uh, it's time uh, we give uh, Mr. Aston some more time. And uh, the thing was, was um, um, I told them to cease this court case and I told the, the, the actual law, um, children's lawyer, Mike Emerson, to sit down that he was obstructing justice and I was telling the magistrate to step down and come to the police station and uh, uh, at the federal police station to have formal charges raised on, on her. Now, she, uh, the children's lawyer was saying, oh, come on, mate, we're trying, and I said, sit down. I did not want to have this court case dealt with by criminals anymore. And I told him, sit down. And uh, I said, you're obstructing justice. I will arrest you. You sit down. And he sat down. And then the, uh, the uh, magistrate, Denmark, she then uh, decided that, um, uh, she said, uh, I understand that you want me to uh, come down to the police station. However, I can't right now. Or she made, you know, she, she was fun, fun fondling around, she didn't know what to actually say. She said, what I will do is I will order transcripts and provide you a copy of the transcripts if you sit, if you, uh, sit down now. So I agreed to sit down for now uh, and, I, uh, and so uh, I actually sat down on the agreement that she would provide the transcripts. So the uh, then the magistrate just gave indication to the children's lawyer to provide me more time and to work it out uh, between the two parties. She wanted me out of that courtroom as quickly as possible. It was the end. We walked out. It was a very very quick court case. Now have a listen how the children's lawyer is pretending he doesn't know anything at all and is ignoring the fact that uh, uh, that none of this happened. And so I thought, right, I'll catch you. Well, have a look at the most recent orders. Okay, right? okay, but the thing is, is in, the, in those transcripts, she, no, in, in the recent orders, it doesn't even say anything about the transcripts, and you were there. Oh, no, well, I'll have to, I'll have to refresh from the orders, uh, John. No, in the orders it doesn't say so. But the thing is, is what what about the uh, the time? She said that she was going to give additional time. Now the thing is, is I'm not seeing my daughter. I refuse to go back to that contact centre. I mean, my daughter is upset every time. Not every time, but the thing is, is it is so hurtful. There's other other children that are crying. So the thing is, is um, she agreed to increasing my time. So, so. Well, I'll have to have a look at the file. All right. What What's this call about then? Well, to answer your call, because she said I had wasn't ringing, wasn't taking your call. But this, you said, the, the, you said you tried to ring me and I wasn't answering. But but this is the first time you've ever. Answering, e you know. This is the first time you've ever been on the phone to me, ever. Thank you. This is the first time you've ever been on the phone to me. Said I haven't rung you, so I'm ringing you back and, and listening to what you're saying. Okay, so um, you haven't now, you I'll haven't you? I've heard what you've said. I'll go and have a look at what the orders say. No, the the orders are wrong. I'm telling you that they are absolutely 100 percent wrong. Okay, well I'll have to have a look at them. All right. Well, do you remember? Do you remember that she said about? Um, ordering transcripts? Uh, not off the top of my head, no. Do you remember that I arrested her? Oh, I remember you arrested her, yeah. 
Well, the thing is, is she she agreed uh, for me to stand down. She agreed to to um, um, that th that that she would order the transcripts, and also she was saying to you to get me out of there as quickly right, well, as possible. I'll have a look at the file now, John. I'll have a look at the file to see what whether I I've heard what you've said, and I'll I'll have a look at the file to see if my thoughts correspond. But I will be away until Tuesday. All right. Okay. But what what about the the uh, the email that I've sent you? Are you ignoring all that? I'm, 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 I'll, I'll read that again. All right. And you'll respond to it. I'll, I'll read it again. I'll read it again. I won't necessarily won't promise I'll respond. But I'll read it again. All right. Okay, but you realise that I, I, I'm trying to do, I am trying to see my daughter. Yeah, and I know. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll get something to you sometime next week. I'll be away till Tuesday, all right? Well, it's not really all right, but, but the thing is, is if that's what you're, you're going to do... I'll get, I'll get something to you next week about my, my understanding of the orders, etc. All right? All right, okay. Good, John. Thanks, bye. Waste of time that was. So you could tell that the children's lawyer was going to avoid every single question. He uh, constantly, it didn't matter what email you actually sent, they would never reply. It's all part of the uh, the, the torture that happens in these family courts. They uh, now the children's lawyer uh, you, is there for the interests of the child and he's there to make sure that these judicial systems actually uh, work and uh, that law is um, uh, provided for and justice. Uh, the thing is, is that children's lawyer for five months now has ignored that the, the, uh, the, ch uh, the, sorry, the uh, federal magistrate has still not provided final court orders uh, and uh, and the thing is, is uh, he is definitely 100% not there to ensure uh, uh, the interests of the child. So the thing is, is um, uh, that's quite concerning uh, that he's the professional, and yet uh, he, he even he is not going to ensure that uh, justice is provided. So uh, he is in collusion with the with the judge, uh, that's Magistrate Denmark. And uh, this, this children's lawyer uh, should not be assisting fraud on the court on any other further ca uh, cases. The chief federal magistrate has uh, received a letter from me, or I, I sent a letter to that office. It is the only office out of the Federal Attorney General's office, the Commonwealth Director of Public Prosecutions responded back, the um, the CMC, um, the uh, the federal police will not do anything. The state police will not do anything. The uh, governor of uh, of Australia just just does not respond to uh, emails. Uh, the governor of Queensland does not respond to emails. Um, the thing is, is the only person who can investigate is the chief federal magistrate, and that office is out of bounds to the public to be able to communicate even to check whether or not they have received the letter uh, advising of the criminal activity and to to conduct a criminal investigation uh, into the case of uh, the federal magistrate so it's going to be very interesting what they're going to do and the thing is is I say that the Chief Federal Magistrate is there to protect the judges. I've already exposed that uh, there is no... Um, uh, you, you, you can actually see malpractice of doctors because uh, doctors have got lots and lots of dough and uh, the thing is, is uh, lawyers will always go after the doctors. Uh, if you do a Google search on uh, lawyer malpractice, you'll find that there is none. Uh, there is no cases of uh, lawyer malpractice and there is no government uh, authority to actually deal with it. There is no lawyer who will actually stand up to a judge or it'll be the end of their career. The thing is, is the Chief Federal Magistrate knows that. 
everyone knows it. Why isn't it? Uh, why is it that uh, I can't get this investigated? We're dealing with criminals in the family court. I want to close them down. Thank you.